Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Elder Survival Let's Play series with the new snapshot. I have updated to the new snapshot and that means we are going to be doing some stuff with it. Uh, so I... Did I do anything off camera? I don't think I did anything off camera. No, I did in fact not do anything off camera except to take a look at what we have uh, in storage. Because we're going to be bothering with some piglins and but first of all I, I want to test some stuff and I also want to try and battle with them and also I want to get a crossbow before we continue I just want to say a huge thanks for all the support in the series it's been amazing all the comments and everything it's been amazing so thank you all for all the feedback and all the suggestions and tips and tricks and everything greatly greatly appreciated um yeah let's get to it now a really really quick thing, uh, thanks Gravity15 for this very long uh, comment that you gave here and we're going to be trying some of this today actually. Um, indeed this bow is incredibly damaged and if that is actually possible to give them a tool and then they drop their crossbow then of course I'm going to do that because I want I want a crossbow all right I want a crossbow fortunately I only have 10 arrows but as he also says um, yeah, we can make spectral arrows using glowstone, so we're gonna do that as well. And if we can actually get string, we can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, except we cannot, we can yet not make a bed and sleep. We can make a bed, just don't sleep in it, because, yeah, it's gonna go boom. Um, and also with the ender chest, it's a good idea, though I don't have, oh dear, I don't have any silk touch tools. But it's still a good idea, and we're definitely still gonna make it just because we can. So I'm going to save this ender pearl uh, right here. It is my only one, as you can see. And in the last episode, a lot of you suggested that we made a shield. Hopefully, it is actually doable with these warped planks. It certainly is. Sweet. I think this is a really good use for the um, iron ingot that we got because it makes it part. It makes it easier for me to actually oh no okay good he didn't get angry <laughs> it makes it easier for me to actually get arrows that confront skeletons and ghasts and with a skeleton so that is very good so we are going to be doing that today we're gonna be battering with some piglets and also putting down some mushrooms because i have a bunch here and i want to make a place for them i want to make a place for them so we're gonna try to do that today as well um, let me just actually really quickly do that. There we go, five on each. That should be good. Now, uh, actually, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. I want to make a golden tool. Now, I don't know if a hole would work, so I'm actually... Hold on, do I already have a... Ah, oh, that's annoying. You see, I've had golden swords. I guess those would work. I guess a sword would work. We're going to try and make a golden sword and give it... If not, we can always get more gold. I just have to find more fortresses. So, yeah. It's not be too big of a deal. Also, they changed the texture of the pigmen, which are now called something else. What are they called again? Zombified piglin. I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. I liked the, the idea of the pigmen. And I think I'm gonna miss those. But I don't know. Maybe it does make sense. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's that's a thing they did. They of course also implemented the target, which we unfortunately cannot make down here, and also crying obsidian, which we might be able to get our hands on. It would be really cool if we could get our hands on that, so hopefully we will be able to. I just need to find... Oh, we have a piglin here, actually. Alright, so, you, my friend, you have a crossbow. I have a golden sword. Are you gonna take this? Okay, so it's not right clicking. I have to drop it in front of him. Hopefully he's gonna pick it up. And hopefully he's gonna drop that crossbow. Maybe. Potentially. Uh, no, he did not. Did I do something wrong? Buddy, I just wasted my gold on you. Give me that crossbow. Alright, so that's a misunderstanding from my part. They may drop their old tool. All right, they may drop their own to old tool. All right, do you want gold nuggets? I wonder. Do you take those, buddy? Stand, 
Sometimes they can be annoying. <laughs> okay, I guess he... I mean, he picked it up, but he didn't throw anything. Okay, we gotta try with the golden, golden nugget. I'm not very good at this, am I? <laughs> Alright, he took it. What is he gonna do? Oh, I got string! Okay. Alright, buddy. Have another one. Yeah, take that. What are you gonna give in return? What do you gotta give this time? I can get... I have plenty of those. What about that? They pick it up, but doesn't give anything. So it's apparently only gold nankets they wanna... Oh no. Huh? Alright, he's probably gonna drop something for me in a bit. Eh. There we go. Alright. Uh, he dropped leather, actually. Quite a bit of it. Okay. So you can actually right-click it on them to give it to them directly instead of dropping it. So that's handy. I can get plenty of... You know what? I'm just gonna use all my gold on this, I think. Okay, what about you? I mean, I might as well, right? I'm gonna get plenty of golden swords down the road anyway. So, I mean, might as well do some bartering here and see what we can get. Maybe get some uh, interesting stuff. Let's see. I got obsidian. I got obsidian. I mean, that's not too bad. What are you gonna give now? I wish they would stand still while doing it. More obsidian. Four obsidian. Okay. I like you. Take my gold, please. <laughs> Don't got other uses for it. Not right now, anyway. Okay, gravel. That's not too great. I'm just gonna rearrange some stuff here. And more string. We got actually, we actually got ten string here. That actually means we can make our own bow. All right. I'm not sure if I did. Well, I did the bartering right, I think. And you know what? I I actually forgot I took a screenshot of that. But I'm gonna put a table on the screen right now of like the the drops that they can drop. Uh, let me open it myself here. And let me see the possibility of getting string. String is a f approximately, I think, 4.42% chance. Crying Obsidian is 8.84% chance. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. String is valuable. <laughs> string is pretty valuable. Um, and leather too. I can make armor with that, so that's not too bad either. Uh, Shroom Light, unfortunately, yeah, I got plenty of that, so that's eh. And obsidian, of course. Obsidian, Obsidian, Obsidian is great. Obsidian is cool. Alright, that's interesting. Unfortunately, though, I was not able to get a crossbow right off the bat. Um, but I'm definitely in the future when I find golden swords, I will... Definitely be sure to uh, to not smelt them, but to save them in order to possibly get a crossbow, because that that would be that would be pretty sweet. I could fight these pigmen too and hope they would drop a sword, but I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do that. There's many in the area, and they would probably all remember. And oh dear, <laughs> they would all remember my uh, my what I did. So maybe it would be reset at some point, but it would it would be making this place a lot more dangerous for me, so I don't think I'm actually gonna do that. Though I think a farm is definitely coming close to a thing that we're gonna make. Some form of farm, gold farm I think maybe. Because uh, I think that it's really the next big thing for us to do here, to get, to get better established and actually be able to trade a lot more with the piglins. Maybe even make an automated piglin farm thingy thing. So yeah, that's gonna be cool and I'm gonna be looking forward to that. Now, I wanna make a mushroom place. And from what I was told by Spice Minds Gaming, uh, I need to, they, and mushroom need a five by five area, I think, for it to have the best kind of growth conditions. And I think we're gonna make a little mushroom cave here. Like, just digging out a little bit of a place here for the mushrooms right next to home. I think that would be pretty cool. So, if we dig like a maybe 10 by 10 area. Yeah, 10 by 10 area doesn't sound too bad. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So, let's see what we got. Um, 
Let's see. One. Uh, do I have any torches on me? No, I do not. I have planks, but eh. Let's just see. Um, I want to put it like kind of like here-ish. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use these for placeholders. So if I started it like here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a ten area, and I think that looks pretty good. And then, good thing I have an extra. <laughs> Then we're gonna go in. If we started at like here, so dig all of this out. All right, so I have been digging this far real quick, and I think we're gonna start the cave from then here. So if this is the first block, um, actually, I think the cave is gonna start from this. So I'm going to dig ten blocks in that direction. It's gonna require a lot of pickaxes. But first, I do want to point out that we can press F3, hold it down and press H for advanced tooltips. And then we can look at the bow and see its durability. 13 out of 384, which means we actually have 13 shots available with this thing. Um, so that's pretty cool that we can do that. But anyways, I'm going to take this and uh, yeah, uh, time wraps, I guess. Starting in 3, 2, and a 1. That was a big setback and also a very big sad moment. I did not foresee the lava and, um, well, all my stuff got burned except for the stuff that I have on me. Uh, that, the only thing that survived was my sword and my mushrooms. That's... A big setback, at least I still have this golden chest plate I could put on so the piglins doesn't attack me, but um the new shield gone, the bow gone, the arrows gone. We still have the string so we can make a brand new bow, that's not a big issue. That's not too much of a setback. Um Yeah, that's not too much of a setback. Um Let's see, what else? We have the mushrooms, that's fine. We still have food. I still have wood, of course. We still have pretty much everything in here, but we just lost the brand new shield and the bow and the arrows. The arrows and the shield being my saddest thing to lose because, um, well, we have just we have just gotten that ironing it. But take that as a lesson then. Don't, um, don't underestimate the nether. I did not even think that there would be lava on that other end. Everything was going so good. But, um... That, um... That happened, unfortunately. And things like that do happen. So... It is just something that we, of course, have to deal with. I just have to find more middle fortresses and find and get more iron. So... I guess that's that. Now, don't let it happen again. <laughs> well, we just have to continue from where we left off. Or where we where we died. I guess I should... Some uh, Huglins actually did follow me through the portal. I assume they have despawned by now. But I am going to go take a look. Because that would mean a little bit more food. Um, but I assume they have just despawned. Let's take a look here. Eh. Let's have a look. Yeah. They be gone. Alright. We just have to live with it. Alright. Well, back to the mushroom thing. 
let's have a look at it. I think it's pretty much done, and then I need to take a look if there is something that I missed that I wanted to do this episode, because I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> but let's take a look. So if the cave starts there and here, so that is the doorway. We'll put doors even. No. No. Okay. And then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a 10 space. So that means there. Okay, so let's let's get rid of that and let's put the mushrooms all now. So the mushroom there. I'm pretty sure it was five. I'm pretty sure it was five by five area. I'm pretty sure. Let me let me double check. Alright, according to the comment from Spice Mice Gaming, in episode one actually, they need a five by five flat area to grow on efficiently. So I assume this is it. One, two, three, four, five, and not five blocks from the actual mushroom. I hope. Uh, now I'm in doubt. Alright, I'm going to leave it at this as is. I did expand the walls one block that way, one block this way. And I'm gonna put a mushroom here. And then I'm gonna put a mushroom here. That is one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Do let me know if this is the right way to do it or if it is um, five blocks from the actual mushroom. So five that way and then five this way if this was the corner. Um, let me know about that. But yeah, this is gonna be how it is for now. I'm actually gonna take this and go get a few doors that we can put up. <laughs> Somehow get these guys out of here. Hope they will despawn or something. And uh, hope that these will grow. I might expand it actually in that direction even more to make it even more efficient. I think I'm gonna do that actually. Uh, let's see what I got. I need to get rid of some of this netherrack, first of all. Uh, have the crafty table. What did I need? What did I need? Doors. I needed doors. Doors, doors, doors. Uh, we're gonna take the warp doors, because they fit better in with the red. Gonna take the rest of this food and the wood. And yeah, I think I am going to expand it. Uh, five more blocks in that direction. Alright. You guys need to leave. Alright, you need to leave. Alright, so five blocks in this direction. And I'm gonna hope that the same thing that happened last time doesn't happen again. But uh, I'll be right back once again. Alright, I think that is five blocks. Let's make sure. So one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna put a red one over here and a brown one over here. And I will take this brown mushroom as a sign that this thing is actually working. So that is actually our first harvest. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna leave these guys in here because I'm not gonna bother with trying to take those out. I'm gonna leave this for well, a couple of episodes, probably. Um, or at least until... Yeah, at least until next episode, I think. Or maybe a couple of episodes if nothing has happened, or if I'm not in this area. But again, we will have to keep an eye on that to see how much it will grow. And again, do let me know if that is correct, or if they um, need five blocks in each direction and not just an area where they're in the middle. Do let me know that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be that. That was that done uh yeah a little hidden well not hidden really but a little hidden mushroom farm thing a cave for them that's not too bad i don't think it's too bad all right let me put these mushrooms away and let me make sure that i haven't oh yeah one new thing actually um that they did do with these i think Crimson vines, crying vines, vines, I'm not sure. But they are now climbable. 
if I actually have some that's reachable. I do not, so I'm gonna get you down. But yeah, they're climbable, so that's pretty cool. Question is, are they climbable without touching a block? They sure are. That's cool. So they now have a better use. I wonder what I can use those for. Do leave suggestions down below. Wait, what is this? Oh, I thought I thought there was a floating brown mushroom there. But yeah, that that makes uh, these weeping lines, sorry, weeping lines more useful. All right. Well, let me get back inside and let me make sure that I didn't forget anything. And I think that is pretty much what I had planned for this episode, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure how short this video is, but um, yeah. I... Okay, he's not angry. Good. <laughs> I keep accidentally looking at them. Now I could try and kill Piglins for their crossbow. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm in the position of really being able to fight these guys head on. I could go to the Crimson Valley and there's probably a lot more over there, but I don't feel like I have the armor nor the tools to do that, especially without my shield. With my shield, I would have been alright doing it. Without it, eh, not so much. But uh, yeah, that's. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I think in the next one, very very soon, we will have to make some sort of huge scale farm, I think. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Yeah.